It is done, Brodia. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me. And all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor. In amongst the blood and death. Brothir at my shoulder. Until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Okay. You wear a furrowed brow? Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man... His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. You're not injured, Tefta. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Deolaf, Gidrich, there's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your guard taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight. And I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and of little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path. And I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. <sighs> Lufina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is, is he...? Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only one. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. Your first battle, Illerich. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwald die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? 
Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks you'll live forever. My thanks, though. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They live. They died, and now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours, but it came at a great cost. Soma Jarlskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to Hjor, warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, 
An adorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. <laughs>